All right, guys, so here we go. Blueberry pie cookie. Let's get her up to level 75 now, not 70. All right, we need her to get her to 75. Uh, so here we go, level 75. And let's get her skill to level 75 as well. Um, I heard that you do need 35 of the pristine powders now in order to get from level 70 to 75 or like each for each level. All right, guys. So before we get back into the video, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to be LD Player. So if you guys are wanting to play Cookie Run Kingdom or any of the other Android games that are available on the Google Play Store, then make sure to go and check out LD Player, which you can find down in the description below. There will be a link where you can be directed towards the website to download LD Player 9, which I am currently using right now. You are able to download all the games that are available within the Android Play Store. And also on top of that, you guys are able to have designated key binding with your keyboard so that you're not touching the screen with only your mouse. So definitely going to be worth it uh, to use for something like the BTS mini games in case you guys are wanting to play that on your PC. Anyways, guys, make sure to go check out LD Player. Uh, definitely a great emulator that I do recommend and I've been using for over a year and a half now. But once again, I do want to thank LD Player for the sponsor and let's get back into the video. Okay, let's read her skill real quick, guys. So the Curse Tome is 15 seconds. An evil spirit appears from the tome, dealing damage to the enemies, inflicting them with the Greed of Tome debuff. It will also heal Blu-ray Pie Cookie's HP and increase her damage resist. The tome will gain a stack of Greed whenever the spirit deals damage to the cookies, or the target inflicted with the Greed of Tome debuff becomes incapacitated. Once the tome has enough stacks of Greed, it will unleash a sealed power, increasing Blu-ray Pie Cookie's attack and dealing damage to the enemies. While the Blueberry Pie Cookie is using her skills, she will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects and the damage related to max HP is capped at 300,000 just like always, alright? So here we go, Magic Tome. Damage is going to be 253.6% of the attack, so that's the uh, initial damage. We get a healing 115% of attack. I, I think that's a, that's a ton of healing, especially because she is a Magic Cookie. That's actually insane, I don't think she's gonna die like that. We get 25% extra damage resist for 12 seconds. And then we got uh, the skill here, Greed of Tome. Whenever the target becomes incapacitated, it will receive a stack of Greed, gaining debuff amplified by 10% for 15 seconds. Stacks up to one time and cannot be dispelled. Greed, seal power triggers upon 7 stacks and seal power damage is going to be cookies for 1.5 seconds, hits up to 6 times, and every single hit is going to do 164 0.4% plus 0.95% true damage relative to HP. Others, it's going to be for 1.5 seconds, hits up to 6 times, and it's only going to deal 34.2%. And there is going to be an attack up of 25% for 3 seconds. Alright, so very interesting. It does seem like the best way to go for her is going to be um, Swift Chocolate, just like how it is for Moonlight as well as, um, you know... Milky Way right now, so uh, we will we will do that. But here we go. Let's uh, let's test her out first. Here we go. Let's do this now. A hundred thousand, around a hundred thousand damage. She definitely is not a. I feel like a very PVE oriented cookie. I think she definitely needs to be tried out within the arena. But right there, there's the greed of tome right there. And she definitely has 25% uh, extra uh, damage resist on 100% of the time. If she, as long as she doesn't get frozen, as long as she doesn't get, um, you know, silenced, she's definitely going to have 100% uh, of damage resist buff every single time. And so here's the thing about uh, Blu-ray Pie right now. She's not able to use her laser beam because of the fact that she's not able to get seven stacks of the gr Greed of Tome, right? So she's she does damage, though. She definitely does damage. But again, I feel like she's not very PvE oriented. But, I mean, she's destroying this enemy. Should be done right there. And her healing is insane. Her self-healing is pretty insane. Like, <laughs> like, look, look, she, all she did was use her own skill and she healed herself 2 million HP. 
All right, guys. So before we get into the arena showcase and exactly showing you guys how Blueberry Pie will do within the arena, I do want to talk about her skill and talk to you guys exactly on how you guys can activate this particular seal power damage, as well as if I do recommend you guys to actually raise Blueberry Pie Cookie right now for the current meta. So first of all, let's talk about her second part of her skill, which is going to be the seal power damage. You can tell right here that you do need to have the Greed of Tome debuff onto the enemies. And every single enemy that is going to be hit by that particular skill, which is going to be a white serpent, she will gain a stack of greed. And on top of that, any of the cookies who are going to have this particular debuff gets incapacitated, then they are actually going to be granting Blu-ray Pie Cookie an additional stack, allowing Blu-ray Pie Cookie to cast her lightning, which is going to be her seal power, multiple times at once. So let's talk about all of the different ways you guys are able to go and grant Blu-ray Pie Cookie additional stacks of greed in order to use her seal power. So simply put, any of the skills within the game right now that is going to prevent any of the cookies from moving is going to be considered a skill that will incapacitate a cookie and will grant Blue Bay Pie an additional stack of greed. That includes any of the stuns, any of the sleep, as well as any of the freezes that will be casted onto the enemies, all right? So I have actually tried this out, as you guys can see. Frost Queen will grant additional stacks of greed to Blue Bay Pie, as well as Moonlight, as well as her own skill will also grant her greed, and stuns will also grant her extra greed stacks. However, Sherbet Cookies Frost debuff will not actually grant additional stacks, as well as Black Pearl's skill are not going to be something that is actually going to allow Blueberry Pie to take advantage of extra stacks. So once that greed reaches seven stacks, that's when she will be able to use her lightning and she will be immune to any of the debuffs that are going to be casted onto her, like Freeze as well as Sleep. Of course, Sleep is going to be casted onto her after her skill is over but she is going to be definitely a good cookie to be used. However, jumping to the conclusion of whether you guys should be raising her or not, I personally believe that she is going to be a strong cookie, but not going to be your first priority or the top priority for you guys to level up right now, especially with the level cap increase. And I highly recommend you guys to focus on any of the other cookies like Moonlight, as well as someone like Squid Ink, in order to take advantage of them throughout different game modes, especially the guild boss battle, as well as Moonlight, for any other particular game modes that we got going on like world aspiration as well as cookie alliance All right but blueberry pie is not a weak cookie guys and she will do some insane amount of damage and if your first priority is going to be the kingdom arena right now then definitely she will help you guys out in a lot of different battles so let's talk about the team right now and that i want to showcase and that is going to be with wallberry hollerberry as well as moonlight blue ray pie as well as the bts or you guys could personally utilize pure vanilla as well but this is going to be a team that is going to utilize two stuns as well as a sleep and on top of that the blue ray pie in order to allow her to get a maximum amount of greed stacks let's talk about the toppings real quick five solid almond as well as five solid almond we have five swift chocolate and five swift chocolate and five swift chocolate for the rest of the cookies all right so for the treasure we have the scroll as well as the whistle and the jelly watch in order to not only improve on the survivability of our dps's but also maximizing their damage as well with the crit and the additional attack buff but this team is definitely going to be a really really good all-around team right now but of course, there are going to be counters, but let's get into the arena now. Let me show you guys how this team works. All right, guys, so here we go. We do have a double tank as well as a double DPS here. Even though they have a sherbet, we're still going to go with the whistle. And you're going to be able to see that Blueberry Pie is going to go and shoot out those laser nonstop. Let's go. So the one big counter to a team like this right now, I would personally have to say is going to be the uh, BTS cookie or actually cream puff i would say that is going to grant stun immunity to the enemy cookies all right which is going to really prevent our hollowberry as well as wallberry from actually stunning the enemies which is going to prevent the blueberry pie from granting her stacks all right so you can see right there blueberry pie uh that is co being covered by my uh you know face cam is continuously just casting her lightning or the uh, laser beam out to the enemies you know, we literally destroyed the, uh, you know, Sherbet as well as Frost Queen, even without the monocle because she is going to be immune to freeze while she is casting that lightning. And she's just going to constantly just shoot out that laser. And as you can see, even though uh, they had a Frost Comp, 
we were able to easily beat them and the damage output from blue ray pie is going to be out damaging moonlight as well here 7.7 million and of course moonlight this 7.2 million but on top of that you guys got to realize our blue ray pie even though she is an epic right now she is five star promotion but compared to the other ones like five star ascension so that means that as a five star promotion she does have a room to grow with her damage here once she does get some more ascension all right guys so here's another one here with another tribute but they do have the whistle this time around let's go here we go so another good thing about bts here uh instead of someone like pure vanilla for uh this kind of team is because of the fact that we do have both uh, Moonlight as well as Blu-ray Pie who are able to heal themselves with their skill usage, uh, you know, stun immunity granted from uh, BTS as well as the constant heal. And on top of that, the debuff resist will also help out in dealing with someone like the enemy's Moonlight sleep duration, the uh, frost duration, as well as the freeze duration and all of those things. And on top of that, if we do have a lot of debuffs on our uh, cookies, then we'll also gain a shield as well. So you can see right there, even without the monocle, this team works really, really well against a frost comp. But again, if they do have stun immunity, it can be a problem, all right? But there you guys go. Again, look at that damage from Blueberry Pie, 10 million damage. So definitely, if you have the spare magic powders as well as spare EXP star jellies, and you have Moonlight Cookie as well to use alongside her, then it will definitely be a good idea to go and pull for Blue Bay Pie and utilize her inside of the arena, which will be the best game mode that she can be used for right now. All right, guys, so that's going to quickly wrap up the review video for Blue Bay Pie. If you guys are wondering if she can be used within the Living Abyss guild boss battle, yes, she can. She can be used instead of Squidding, but just keep in mind, Squidding is definitely just going to be doing a lot more damage, especially with... The magic candy that they have compared to someone like blu-ray pie and honestly speaking i would just stick with that particular team rather than try to fit in a new cookie that is going to do subpar damage compared to what you have right now but it is still possible if you guys don't have someone like squid ink leveled up already but in conclusion once again guys i do recommend you guys to try and pull for blu-ray pie if you guys have spare exp star jellies as well as skill powders for your magic cookies but there are going to be priorities like Moonlight as well as Squid Ink in my personal opinion. And on top of that, she is just really going to be used inside of the arena right now for any of the countering comps that we have going on. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys found the video helpful. I will post more videos about team composition utilizing Blueberry Pie in case you guys do want to use her inside of your team. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all on the next one.